How do you let your girlfriend know her vaginal area has an odor that might require additional maintenance without embarrassing her? Serious answer, please just tell her. She probably has BV and it can do horrible damage if left untreated. Even if she get upset and embarrassed, which she likely will, it will definitely help her. She'll eventually understand you were concerned and genuinely cared, but she still may also never talk to you again. Worst case, you lose a Yule partner. Best case, you saved a vagina from self-harm. I actually diagnosed BV with my mouth and nose one time. I'm a nurse, but you definitely don't need a degree to know when something's off. She had this milky white discharge down there and did not smell good. She had good hygiene, but she'd had that issue for so long that she just accepted it as her natural odor. When I talked to her about it, she just insisted that it's just her natural smell. Eventually, I had to straight up tell her, Listen, I've been around a lot of vaginas both in the medical field and out of. That is not a natural smell. You should see your gin, because I think you have an infection. Finally, she relented and lo and behold, she had BV. Once it was treated and gone, she said it was weird that her smell was gone and that it smelled like nothing now. I just wonder how long she had this for that she assumed it was completely normal. I was dating her. She was not a patient. I am not out here eating during my assessments to judge women's vaginal health. If it's a new problem, tell her I don't mean to embarrass you, but I'm concerned about you. I heard that if there is a significant change of odor, it could mean that it could be something health-related. Maybe you should check with your Gino. If it's lack of hygiene, then she will more than likely change that after hearing that, but she could have something needing medical attention. A change in odor isn't necessarily a hygiene issue considering you're not supposed to wash the vagina. The area around the vulva, yes, but the vulva and vagina itself, no, if she's washing. Those areas with soap it can be a cause of the odor, since typically odor is indicative of a pH balance that's off and literally anything can throw off pH balance, especially semen. The vagina is self-cleaning and doesn't need to be washed, nor does the vulva for the same reasons. It really could be as simple as a pH balance that's off bacterial vaginosis is a symptom of this or a yeast infection, which again, isn't indicative of bad hygiene. Vaginas are pretty friggin' complex and picky when it comes to a balanced pH, and it can be really annoying. She likely needs to go see a doctor. Bacterial vaginosis has a bad smell and has nothing to do with hygiene. They can prescribe something, or boric acid suppositories, but whatever the word for vagina ones is can help. Commenting and upvoting because this should be top comment. BV comes from pH imbalance. Could be his semen causing the problem. Could be she is trying vaginal cleaning products that are actually making it worse. Soap and douches can cause BV as well. She may have to take a prescription and then once it's gone only use water to clean your vag people. Communication is key for any relationship. Approach the topic with kindness and understanding. But we all need to receive communication well also. Not saying it's easy being on the receiving end of this type of communication but when someone is making an effort to communicate. With kindness and honesty, the person receiving that communication has to not take it as a personal attack and try and receive the information without feeling attacked. Not easy. Requires maturity and confidence. Use the word different and come from a place of concern and care. Hey babe, I know this is kind of an embarrassing topic and I'm sorry for that, but I've noticed you smell different than your usual down there and I wanted to make sure you were aware of it. Is there anything I can do to help? Go buy something you need? Take you to an appointment? It's likely something she'll have to deal with herself but the thought counts. Once people get past the initial embarrassment feeling they usually just appreciate your honesty. Hey honey, something smells a bit different than normal. Your pH might be off. I think you should reach out to your Gino. I should have used this approach in the past. I dated someone with a strong smell. She would often ask too often actually. I would always tell her she was within acceptable limits. It was a little white lie. She was not within acceptable limits but I enjoyed with her so much I proceeded onwards anyways. Come to find out afterwards for our entire six month relationship she had lied to me about loving me. So maybe my small lie to her isn't so bad in comparison. I was just wondering if you've used a different soap for down below? I'm just asking because I've noticed that the smell is different. Not bad or anything but I'm concerned maybe you could be developing a yeast or bladder infection. Coming from a concerned and caring. 
place will come across kinder and may be easier to approach or to hear in that way. Also, if it's not hygiene as before mentioned in comments could very well be a pH balance thing, a diet thing, or even new laundry detergent that the area isn't really reacting to well. Hope that helps. This is basically the tack I used the one time I had that issue with my wife. One day she went from smelling perfectly normal to, frankly, terrible. I was pretty blunt about it, but I just said, hey, I noticed that your smell has been a little different the last day or two. Do you think it's something we should get checked out because it was so abrupt, or did you change up something recently? Turns out she had noticed it too, but was embarrassed to ask me if she was hallucinating it or not. She has tried a new soap, and so she switched back to her old one and it was gone. Within a day, don't make a bigger deal out of it than it needs to be. It's not that she's disgusting, it's just something that you're concerned about that should probably be addressed however she feels comfortable doing so. Just so my dudes are aware because this falls under the category of things dudes usually don't need to know vaginas should not actually be washed with soap, it messes up the natural pH balance which can lead to BV, yeast infections and allergic reactions to scented stuff. Douche! Like Summer's Eve is not recommended by most gynecologists either. The only smell-reducing product a doctor has ever recommended to me is Loom deodorant. Given the situation, I'd recommend she sees a Gino first to ensure it's not an infection of some kind, and if it's not, Loom would be a good everyday product for her to stay smelling fresh. I've had to do this before. It was a tough conversation. I brought up like, hey, this is gonna be embarrassing, but you would want to tell me if I smell, have bad breath because you love me, I proceeded to tell her that her area smelled yeasty, kinda like an open can of refried beans. She was naturally mortified and went to the doctor that week. The doctor explained it's a bacteria down there that created the smell. She bought a special soap that took care of the smell. Our bodily smells are completely natural and not off the table. It's romantic to smell nice for your partner. Best of luck breaking the news. My boyfriend told me a few times that I had bad breath. It kind of hurt for sure but I also appreciate the honesty. If you're coming from a kind place like you're trying to help and not to shame her, she will understand. Also bad odor down there can be a sign of a yeast or bacterial infection. It's totally normal and there are ways to test for it and get treated. This is just my descent for you guys to also understand it's not only about cleanliness or grooming. Also, vaginal douches are an absolute no-no. You girlfriend should only clean her vulva, not inside her vagina. If she douches it will only make problems worse. Oh my god, I was with a girl whose odor was foul like an Armenian power lifter after a 3-hour training session's armpit. Eyebrow burning scent. I just thought she may be having an off day, didn't say anything, then it was still there again and again and again. She was alright otherwise, but I ended up asking her about it and she got all defensive, her not wanting to fix it made me not want to touch her, which made her question my wallety, I broke it off 6 months after I should have. Like I'd pull off her panties and the room would just rake like B.O., oh my god makes me want to vomit, thinking about it. Been there before to my friend. It completely turned me off 5 minutes into the dead. It felt like a sharp stank knife was stabbing through my sinus and into my brain. When I went to the bathroom, I could smell it on a Simflap Flaps JR down there. Her and I just started, hanging out a few weeks before this. I told her that there is a scent and I think she needed to go get seen. Never heard from her again. I felt bad but I don't feel like I was immature about it or anything. Reading this thread has made me realize how uneducated most people are about women's anatomy. Every vagina has an odor. IDC if you think your vagina smells like roses. Every vagina has an odor. It smells like. And it can be unpleasant if you're not into musky scents or just plain. Unpleasant become there's odor at all. But even minute changes in pH change the smell. Now there is a certain point where a certain smell, particularly a very fishy smell, indicates bacteria in the vagina. If it's a hygiene issue it will smell less like a fish odor and more of a sweat. Musk, B.O. Scents also change based on discharge. Every vagina has vaginal discharge, some more than others. If the discharge is clear, it's fine. But if you look in her underwear and it's milky, white discharge, that usually happens from a yeast infection but not always, it can just be an overproduction of yeast in the vagina. This also has a scent. It may even smell like musky bread. 
Odor can also be caused if you guys go raw without condoms and she gets bacteria from you. It's kind of recommended that women pee after to avoid UTIs. How close, how far away she is. From her period can also change an odor as usually more discharge is produced. To make a long story short, odor is caused by many reasons, not just purely hygienic but if it is smelling fishy or potentially like rotten meat of a sort, it's more than likely that it's just some bacteria. I would not recommend she use vaginal cleansers like Douching or Summer's Eve or whatever become the vagina is a self-cleaning organ. It gets rid of stuff itself and there is healthy bacteria in the vagina that may be ed off by using vaginal soaps. This will cause more odor which will make it seem like she needs to use the soap more. Water and water-based lubes only for best results. If you're concerned about how to tell her, sit down with her and tell her like, hey, we are honest with each other, right? I would want someone to tell me this if it were occurring to me because I read. Online, it could indicate some health concerns, really stress the point that it's less about how she smells, but that you're more concerned for her health before bringing up that you have noticed an odor. Doing it this way will reduce any shame felt on her part for smelling bad and she will probably be less likely to get defensive and take your concern more seriously than just saying like your vagina has an odor. It can be a sensitive and delicate issue to discuss with your partner. However, communication is crucial for maintaining a healthy and happy relationship. Here are some tips to approach the situation. Be gentle and understanding. Approach the topic with care and respect. And assure her that you're not trying to make her feel embarrassed or ashamed. Choose the right time and place. Avoid discussing the topic in a public or crowded place and choose a time when both of you are relaxed and comfortable. Use I statements instead of you. Statements. Instead of saying you have an odor, try saying I noticed a different smell and I wanted to make sure everything is okay. Suggest solutions together. Rather than making it seem like it's solely her problem, offer to support her in finding solutions together, such as going to the doctor or trying different hygiene products. Be supportive and understanding. Remember that everyone's body is different and there may be underlying medical or hormonal reasons for the odor. Be patient and supportive in finding a solution that works for both of you. Overall, approaching the topic with sensitivity, empathy, and a willingness to find solutions together can help you have a productive and respectful conversation with your partner. Tell her you're concerned about her health. Tell her that you think that it isn't normal. Tell her you love her no matter what though. Be supportive. Be willing to help her in any way whatsoever. Keep it confidential. Don't tell anyone. Just basically be a really good partner. I was with a girl for a long time that didn't smell right. I never had the courage to tell her. We were together for about 4.5 years. Then a couple of months before we broke up, it came out in a fight. It was obviously in devastating fashion. Though she was a Thai person, it was a terrible thing for me to use as fodder. Just be sensitive, friend. Bring it up when you two are both dressed. You think it's common sense. It isn't. The amount of friends whose partners have brought up serious post. Mention that you noticed a change in her scent. You weren't sure whether to bring it up but figured you'd at least let her know in. Case it's related to infection like iast infection or BV. Be clear on that because you don't want to start anything by inadvertently making her think you think she's cheated. We'd tell each other if we found a weird mole or something. This is similar. Just approach it like you care about her health because you do. Everyone is saying BV, but there's other reasons why your girlfriend might have an odor. If her menstrual cycle is due, if she's washing her lady bits with harsh fragrant soaps, not washing well enough, her pH is off, she has an STI or BV. I would just let her know that you noticed it. Smells different and she should get checked out. It's gonna be embarrassing for her regardless, but I would approach it gently and supportively. You could say that you're familiar with her scent and that it smells different. Or off and you just wanna make sure she's okay as you know the vagina's different scents have different meanings. Good luck, it'll all work out. So I recently went through this from the female perspective. Chances are, she already knows and is hoping that it's all in her head or that you aren't noticing. During a non ual time, sit her down. Tell her how much you love her. Make sure that you communicate. That this is coming from a place of loving concern, not judgment or condemnation. This is purely a health thing, not about attraction. I would also communicate that you love the way she usually smells, tastes. 
Turns out, sometimes when my husband would come inside me, it would upset my pH, and occasionally cause BV, bacteria vaginosis. Now that I A, know what's wrong with me, and B, know what causes it, I can better take care of myself. This involves not having my husband come inside my vagina as often and using boric acid after or my period. It's helped a lot. I was working in sales. I had a guy come to me trying to get my company to sell his product. I loved the product but his breath would down a bull moose. The second time he came in I discreetly told him. He was shocked and embarrassed. He went to the dentist and had an abscess fixed. After that he thanked me every time he saw me. Tell your girlfriend what you feel about her, then tell her there is a problem. In these cases it's almost always better to praise and then be honest. Good luck. There is no non-mansplainy way for you to offer unsolicited guest diagnoses about a potential vaginal disease. You aren't a medical professional, and you aren't your girlfriend's healthcare proxy. The farthest you can go in that direction is encouraging her to visit the doctor for recommended checkups or birth control. If your girlfriend were writing to ask what she should do about her vaginal odor, all these people encouraging her to get checked for BV would be right on. Your girlfriend presumably has a functioning sense of smell and can ask that question herself. CDC has information about BV that you can read to evaluate the seriousness and risk to yourself, then decide whether it makes sense to raise this topic even though she'll feel embarrassed. Just be direct and honest. It also could depend on if this bad odor is a new thing or just the persistent one she has always had because one is a new infection maybe and one is just poor hygiene. If it could be signs of an infection or something serious, and as long as you're just being direct and not making a joke out of it, I don't think they should take it very hard at all because, well, they shouldn't. Just when you talk to them about it say, hey, I think you should see a gynecologist you may have an infection down there, it's got an off odor to it. Don't. Do something like this, babe your snatch stinks something fierce do you not wash it or something? But if it's just her normal everyday odor because of poor hygiene then just ask if she can do a better job of cleaning it especially if your face is going to be down there and because it's good for her health the same way it's good for guys to keep their junk clean for the same health and face may be present reasons. Well, you can just talk to her, it's absolutely natural. I mean, it happens to men as well if they don't wash, etc. Just talk to her and tell her there are natural remedies the doctor can prescribe her medication as well it like fights the bacteria just can't use them too often because her body can get used to it and they won't work anymore. I saw that advice from an adult film star advice video. Also, nothing else should be inside her vagina. The only thing that should be washed is the outside with natural products so like douches anything that is fragranced like lube and also stuff like bath bombs. It can really throw off the pH balance. Also, breathable underwear helps. Just be sweet kind and don't be harsh. It's completely understandable and natural. Oof, this is tough. I was that girl once. It's going to for her to hear no matter what. Be kind. Tell her you love her and want to spend more time on her. Remind her that relationships are about helping each other grow as people and this is the place that it is okay be be vulnerable. Then ask if there's anything you can do better. It might help share the load. There are a few reasons it could be happening. For me, my diet was heavy in salt and heavily processed. Perhaps an infection that needs medical care or simple hygiene practices. She just needs to learn her body. Having this type of conversation can be sensitive and delicate, and it's important to approach it in a respectful and caring way to avoid hurting your girlfriend's feelings. Here are some suggestions, choose the right time and place, find a private and comfortable setting where you can have an open and honest conversation with your girlfriend. Use gentle and respectful language, avoid using negative or critical language. Instead, use a calm and gentle tone and express your concern for her well-being. Acknowledge her efforts, if your girlfriend already practices good hygiene, acknowledge her efforts and let her know that you appreciate it. This will help her feel more comfortable and less defensive. Suggest a solution, rather than just pointing out the problem, offer a helpful suggestion. For example, you could suggest that she try using a different type of soap or washing more frequently. Be open to feedback, be prepared to listen to your girlfriend's perspective and feedback. It's important to approach the conversation as a team and work together to find a solution.
My husband, then boyfriend never drinks but he finally went out with his friend to the pub, he called me to pick him up around 2am and when we got home he wouldn't stop talking about anything and everything. Just kept yakking. Anyway, after a while of talking absolute e he went silent and I asked is he was feeling alright and please could I go to sleep? He said if I ask you something, promise you won't get angry? I was already getting a little moody as it was so late and I love sleep but he had such a good night I didn't want to ruin his vibe, said of course. And he blurted out recently, you've started to smell like piss and biscuits. I don't know what's changed but it's really noticeable. I don't think I've ever laughed as hard in my life anyway, it wasn't piss and biscuits I had BV, went to the doctor and it got sorted. Lovely. Your lady garden has a certain scent, but it shouldn't ever be noticeable and your lover will probably love it, if it's unpleasant head to your doctor, it's likely a super simple, common issue with a quick fix, tell her, just let her know, tell her I know you can't smell your own self and I noticed a smell you don't usually have, I know that can be a sign of infection so I thought I should mention it, she may want to know what it smells like and she will probably want, reassurance that you don't think she's gross. But FYI, our bodies all bodies also develop smells from stuff we eat too, so if it's temporary, chalk it up to that and have a laugh. Also be aware this is true for your body. A cheesy or bready smell is a sign of yeast or fungal infection, which you can introduce to her during intercourse. So, make room to know how you smell too, and know there's no judgment. Take her to TGI Fridays, sit her down in a comfy booth in the bar area. Make sure you order to Long Islands and some of the mozzarella sticks and potato skins. When the food arrives tell her to go ahead and start. After a couple of potato skins and mozzarella sticks, she should have to be digging for some sour cream while the waiter is searching for more and back because the restock day isn't until tomorrow. You tell her Malati your snatch appears to have a catch. When confused and on the verge of her about to scold you for inappropriate language loud enough for others to hear slide her a pamphlet that is a detailed reading about vaginosis. You tell her it is out of love, you figured since nobody is ever upset at a TGI Fridays it was the best way to go about it and that it is putting a strain on the mustache ride. Economy. She will thank you, visit her gynecologist and things will be back to normal in about 132 hours. Best of luck and Godspeed. Nuke the whole site from orbit. It's the only way to be sure. More seriously, my experience has been that this is rare and most women smell great. There were two times I dated women where that was not the case, and both times I suggested a Y shower together so we could wash each other up. In both cases, as I approached that area with soapy hands, they told me not to get any soap down there because it would cause a problem. I wasn't about to argue with them, so that was that. Every other woman I've been with washed normally down there, obviously, at all. I don't know where that info comes from, if it's a misunderstanding between washing the outside and inside, or whether it might actually be true that some women can't get soap down there at all, but I can say that the majority of women in my life have washed down there with regular soap and didn't have any problems, and they smell great. So if you're a woman that's scared of that maybe it is misinformation?